So we collect a lot of different types of data and we go out to the field. Like for example, we fly an aircraft. Uh, in the aircraft, we can collect, for example, data directly from the clouds. And uh, we also do a lot of remote sensing as well. So we might have instruments on the ground that actually collect back to, under to see, like for example, the temperature profile in the atmosphere. And we also use a lot of satellite data as well. We use our computer models for many different things. Sometimes we simulate a specific event such as a hurricane, you know, simulate the strong winds and the precipitation associated with that and how that might cause flooding on the ground. But we also simulate long time period, like looking at the past, like what happened since the pre-industrial time to now, as well as projecting into the future is really useful for policymakers when they consider whether they need to um, uh, build a new power plants and whether the, ki the kind of power plants might uh, produce more of uh, greenhouse gases that would continue to change the climate system. So these are re really useful information for them to, to plan the infrastructure as well as manage the infrastructure. Right now our computer models are good but there are still a lot of processes that we don't understand. So in projecting the future we have a, a very wide range of answers and that wouldn't be too useful for people. So I hope to be able to really narrow down that range and also to be able to tell people not only like how is the climate is going to be like averaging over a very large area, but much more locally because this is what people care about, like how is uh, the temperature, how will the water resources in my local region change in the future. So to be able to provide that kind of information is what I'm working towards.